All right, so it's Saturday here, and we went to the scrap yard, and we were looking for another another deep cycle battery. I just wanted to show you what I'm going to do here because we did find a marine and deep cycle RV battery. Generally speaking, these things need to be labeled with a DC, whatever battery group size it is, which this one's a 27, and uh, usually it'll say DC on the end of it, but this one doesn't, but I can usually tell if it says marine and RV on it, it is in fact a deep cycle, not a cranking battery. And what we did is we went and found this, and we found it, and it originally tested out, we took the voltmeter with us and tested out at a, uh, what was a, about a six, a six volt, you can see I'm touching right there. And now I'm going to touch over here on this one. So I'm touching both of them. And I tested out six. And we rolled it over and shook it up a little bit to try and get it to leak. And we made sure it didn't leak before we got it. We checked all the cells and everything. They weren't dry, which was good. But it went from a six and it dropped down to like a one. And it's been slowly climbing. I don't know if we can get it to climb here on video or not. But it's been slowly climbing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've done in uh, recent past here with a couple of batteries. in just changing the acid out and cleaning the inside of the battery. So what we're going to do now is we went and I go ahead and take those off there. Went and got some acid from O'Reilly's and you can buy this. This is a five gallon box. It costs, uh, oh, what was it? $24 or $25 for this acid. And all we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to clean it out and we're going to use just a baking soda and water solution once we take these caps off. We're gonna take these caps off, and this is probably gonna be two parts here because it's gonna be really hard to do all this while holding the camera. I'm trying to do it with my phone. But you can look down in there and you can kind of tell there's some fluid down in there, which is good. They're not completely dry. This one right here on the end is a little bit low, but not too bad. It's still touching the lead, which is good. We got it down in there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and pop this one off. Make sure you're careful when you do this. You don't want to get this stuff on your skin. It'll be really irritating. Definitely don't get it in your eyes. So I should be wearing gloves and stuff, but I'm not. This one right over here, it did. It was covered when we went and got it, but I kind of flipped it over and accidentally lost a little bit out. So we're going to take this and just empty it out into a plastic pail. And we're also going to do this to a lawn and garden battery that we have for another project. But this one actually tested out a lot higher. Tested out at a... Uh, can show you really quick here test it out at like a 9 or a 10 and we got this though for something completely different that uh, yeah it tested out at like a 9 it's hard to keep a connection right now with one hand but you can see it's got some voltage in it and either way, we're going to clean that one out too, but again, that's for another project. So either way, we're going to go ahead and we're going to dump this acid into this pail. And we're going to replace it after we clean it with that acid right there. And we will see what the voltage comes back to. So after I'm all done with this, I will uh, get back with you here. <laughs> 